Hey, this is Dan and Bob from Gigaboots.com, and welcome to our quick play of Heroes of the Storm. We have with us my bro Steve, who's been playing this with me online. Uh, Hi there. Which gives us a pretty unfair uh, advantage uh, against people who are in this, because <laughs> most people aren't crazy enough to dump forty dollars on the Founders Pack, but Steve and Doctor Agro definitely are. <laughs> forty? Yeah. Wow. Jeez. It's forty dollars. Yeah, I uh, get these three characters you probably don't want. Yeah, who are the characters? Is it uh, it's, uh, Rainer, Rainer, Diablo, and that Night Elf, Tyron? Tyron. Taz uh, okay. Tyron. Okay. Um. So yeah, in any case, much like your average MOBA, this this has uh, free characters every so often. And the weird thing is, you level up to unlock more of them at a time. So I unlocked Brightwing just a moment ago by hitting level fifteen as a player and. Uh, who else? Oh, I unlocked uh, Sergeant Hammer, the uh, siege tank here, a little while ago by leveling up to, I think it was 12. Uh, this blue outlined one, is that the next one I'm going to unlock? Does anyone know? I don't think so. No, that's that's it for your unlocks. Now you just have to buy oh, okay. for the next week rotation. It's showing me that I can't click that one because you're playing as Nazebo. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Because, of course, you can't have... The blue outline just indicates what I'm playing at. Yeah, that's what we were just saying. But I honestly wish there was some MOBA that didn't do that. Like, it's like, no, I want a team of siege tanks. Five siege tanks. <laughs> we show up at a, at a wall and it disappears overnight. <laughs> but uh, real quick, uh, before we start, I'm just going to show that there are daily quests that get you gold. As a warrior hero. I would say a siege tank's a warrior hero. I don't know. <laughs> also a support hero. Sure, why not? What is the siege tank actually? Uh, siege tank is, is ranged, ranged specialist. Specialist? Specialist. Yeah. specialist. Okay. Specialist. Uh, and difficulty hard. Supposedly, I don't. For I mean, me, it's, it's easy just... because I love siege tanks at StarCraft. I'm like siege tank, it's got to be the best class, Ready right? To right. Out. Ready to roll out. They so, changed the uh, female pilot of the siege tank to uh, or male to a female. Uh, Steve was telling me they did that in the alpha or something. That oh, it was originally a male. It was originally a male? A male? Weird. It, it was huh. the uh, black general from StarCraft II, General Warfield, I believe his name was. Yeah. I guess no one misses him. <laughs> oh. Well, the coolest thing about the new one is she looks a lot like Tank Girl, in my opinion. And apparently <laughs> Steve, Steve was telling me they have a skin that makes it even more like Tank Girl. Yeah, I think I saw that. I was like, that's weird, guys. <laughs> that's fucking awesome is what that is. But uh, yeah, to differentiate this from other MOBAs, there are metagames to every map. In this one, we need to control the shrines in order to free the Dragon Knight, who then wrecks the enemy forts. And in a lot of these maps, this is actually way more important than just fighting the enemy. Right, I actually, the, with the Dragon Knight one here, I have no, I don't think I've ever seen the Dragon Knight. Yeah? I've played this map a good bit, and for some reason it seems like this one just doesn't doesn't go off as much, or doesn't go off in the same area I'm in, or something. Gotcha. So, uh, just like your normal MOBA, I uh, get new skills as I uh, level up, uh, and I get some choices on what abilities it's going to stack on my my pre-existing. Yeah, you start these with three, all three skills. I start with all three, and at a certain point I get my ultimate. Uh, level 10. Which that feels a lot better than being like, oh, I need to really consider which of the skills I'm going to get first and what makes it more viable. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a lot more casual friendly. What were you going to say about it, Steve? Uh, I was just saying I absolutely love the fact that you have all three skills because with League of Legends at level 1 you have that one button you can press and other than that it's auto attack. Yeah, it's yeah. Like boring. I got this. So this is what the siege does. God, that's so cheap. <laughs> oh no! Oh! So the siege times too deep, I see. He'll make a comeback as a different character since he has that giant cannon strapped to his arm like Mega Man. Ready to roll out! Oh yeah? Oh yeah, Steve was telling me about that lore-wise. Uh, that dude has like instead of an arm, a cannon arm. Who does? Uh, the person who was previously piloting the, uh, uh, tank oh, in the okay. Alpha. So I he's hoping they... he'll come back as Mega Man. Yeah, I, I, I have to wonder if he's just gonna be his own character. Oh, you got back fast. Yeah, uh, I was level one. Right. Oh man, I just hit Z. So, another thing with this game is that you have a mount in order to get around quickly. Um... Whoa! 
I didn't think you could be pulled through that. Oh man, you gotta you gotta capture the shrine. You're so hidden. I am. Was that Steve dying? Then? Yes, that was Steve dying. Okay, just checking. I was like, things that... are not going well. In case you haven't put that together. No, oh, look great. Things are going. Wow. Yeah, this is our luck. We actually started recording this quick play uh, a moment ago, and uh, the computer crashed in the middle of the recording. Eric was like, "You're gonna fucking suck this next round because you did really well during the failed recording." And I'm like, "Shut up, Eric." <laughs> it's always true. It's how it goes. The only recordings that'll ever come out of us playing video games are the ones that are garbage. Like Bob in the Evolve beta. <laughs> so I guess we're even now, Bob. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. See how bad this goes. Thanks for the covering, <laughs> Can, uh, can Steve's Witch Doctor there heal you? Or is that uh, his thing? Steve, Witch Doctor can heal. Yes, no. Okay. Is he support then, or...? I guess he's something else. I have this problem where I click the lower right because I'm chasing someone and I end up clicking the map. Yeah, I ran into that too, but... It's... You can go I'm like... the lane, I'll hold it. No, that's okay, Steve. I want to have fun with you. Oh no, Steve! A little bit long. You're about to grab track. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Oh, I just barely lost that battle. <coughs> they were next to the dragon statue, but they were deliberating who was going to grab it and took so long Diablo showed up to knock it. <laughs> but we did keep them off the dragon. Yeah, it was ours to take, not theirs, actually. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, there's this top shrine, the uh, sunshine, and the bottom one, which is the moon shrine. And you have to take both in order to open up the dragon knight in the middle. I'm coming! One thing I noticed, there don't seem to be any Diablo 2 classes, and I was kind of upset. Yeah, just the uh, assass uh, barbarian from Diablo 3. Well, there there is Vala from uh, the, the Demon Hunter from Diablo 3 as well, so... Oh, we're getting true. multiple Diablo 3 rewards. Oh. Yeah, see, there's this thing with the uh, siege mode, wherein uh, there's a cooldown. Once you pull out of it, it takes a moment to be able to put, go back into siege mode. Right. Uh, so because of that, a lot of times I have to just normal attack stuff for a little bit. Also, I know there's a uh, thing with the with the cannons like on the side there where they can run out of ammo. Yes, uh, that's that's a pretty neat difference. Yeah. There's a character like Ringer can actually get attacks that cause them to lose ammo when they're hit. Oh, jeez. And then Diablo just picks up a tank. You know, like you do. Do you know the point in breaking the parts of the wall that you don't even need to walk through? Like, the, like well, is well, there a point to that? Steve points out you get experience. You do? Okay. I thought that there might be something like that, but I didn't, uh, I didn't see experience pop out when I did it. Oh, that, that Diablo is so close to dead. What the heck is that ghost? Uh, that's Steve's ult. Oh god. Oh, okay. oh god. Oh god. Oh great, the other thing that I thought was really cool is, uh, special attacks, like, say, your, um, your cannon thing. You can actually use them on structures. Yes. Whereas skills on structures were just not possible in, in yes. League, for sure, and I'm pretty sure not in Dota either. Correct. And that actually makes, uh, special powers... Oh, just barely got him. I avenged you, Steve! Uh, that makes what you choose as your ultimate even more meaningful because my uh, napalm here 
really good at buildings <laughs> because it has a dot as well as that initial explosion. Jeez. I gotta get this back. Yeah. I, I'm worried they're on top of it. I love the music. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a lot cooler, I think, than League's. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell you what League's music even sounds like, so... <laughs> so, I must be right. <laughs> but yeah, there's a uh, splash damage on the Siege mode. It, it, it enhances my range. Uh, it does more damage. I like how the, much the attention to detail there is to kind of make these, these classes all feel like the characters they are in their original game. Yeah. Because as someone who loves siege tanks in StarCraft, this is just amazingly good fan service. <laughs> in my opinion. What were you... Uh, you I, I was going to say, like, the thing? Barbarian one, like, I think her mode for attack and fury building up makes more sense in this game than in Diablo 3. <laughs> <laughs> which like, is insane. Which is, yeah, that's a little crazy. Not normally... <laughs> Oh shit. Here I go! Zoom! <laughs> oh, somebody got. Uh, yeah, looks like both sides did. What are those called? Uh, minions? Minions. Uh, yeah. uh, mercenaries. Mercenaries, maybe. that's it, yeah. But yeah, you can, it's, when you jungle, you actually can get those kind of guys on your side instead of just doing it for experience, which is pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you guys are still ahead in uh, team level. That's good. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I should be able to make it out. And then get that. Yeah, we're leading on levels, but if they get that Dragon Knight, they can really turn this around. Yeah? Yeah. Because that, that's some, one complaint that... I, I wasn't sure it was unfounded or not of people saying things seem to snowball after you uh you start to win. You're just Man, that's game. horseshit. That's more the case in League than this. Yeah. Yeah. I think so, but you know, I'm sure someone out there can counter my claim. Let me just uh oh come on, Tyrael! <laughs> Tyrael should just be normal black man mode. Right? Like Diablo 3 cannon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That would be terrible. Um, just because he looks cool like that. Him just looking like a black monk is lame. Yeah, that would be very lame, I guess. They. He looked pretty similar to the Paladin, you know? That's from Diablo 2. Because that was just, yes. like... He did, he did really look like that, and I did love that character. <laughs> um, that was the one I played as most of the time. Uh, so we actually got the Dragon Knight. Which you can see is Steve. You actually take the oh, form of the monster. That's cool. Yeah, so... I'm gonna join them in the middle for a battle royale. Barely Whoa. saved my ally. How Steve did... knocked Diablo over, so now Diablo's gonna finish him anyways. How did... No, keep running! Oh, well, it's not worth trying to save him. <laughs> oh, there, there goes, goes Steve. Steve. Oh, that's four on one. I'm sure you can do it, Dan. Man, I can escape God! <laughs> See? <laughs> like, that beginning thing was the stupidest shit I have pulled... I, I don't even know how long. It just... <laughs> That was ridiculously stupid. I really like uh, Diablo. He's got the uh, the stomp thing that from the actual game when you fight him, where it's just yeah. got fire in all directions. I'm like, yeah, it is awesome. Like all all those details are really really cool. Like you were saying. Oh, Steve wants to capture that bruiser camp on the bottom. Okay, Steve, I'll head down. And then you can hold G or hit G, click. Oh, they just took it. Ah, jeez. That's what he was saying. It didn't occur to me at first that I should explain to the audience how siege mode works on a siege tank. I'm like, <laughs> but StarCraft's popular. Why wouldn't you know? <laughs> Everyone should know how siege mode... It's the best thing in gaming. I don't... <laughs> Hey, 
Oh my god, they pulled him inside. Oh jeez. Oh, and he just barely escaped too. Yeah, I saw that. That was some real horse shit. Did as much damage as I could to him before I died. Dragon awaits, heroes. Well, we just ate that Tyrael. Now Tyrael's <laughs> yeah. gonna hover after him and explode. Cause um, that's what Tyrael did, right? I don't... Totally. <laughs> what, you didn't beat three? I, I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, and then... There's uh, Vala doing that really stupid looking move. <laughs> oh! So you could escape God, Dan. I could, but then I did something stupid. It didn't use my booster because I was trying to keep them off my ally <laughs> instead of just trying to escape myself. Yeah, I'm really bad about actually using the the mounts. Like, it's just something that's hard for me. It's to a new mechanic. About. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. But yeah, either way, we're still in the lead so far. Uh, this is the worst spread I've had in forever. Uh, what was it? That last run, I was 17-1? 16, I think. 16-1. And that's more in line with what I usually get as a siege tank, but I'm screwing it up. It's all the pressure from being on film. Oh, yeah. I'm the, oh, I'm so shy. <laughs> oh, please don't go to my YouTube channel, Vaca. <laughs> The scariest part about making that turn is you can't see what's down here until the very last moment. <laughs> so it could just be someone. I'll uh, maintain the top if you want to go for the Dragon Knight. Looks like we lost bottom. Yeah, he is a support. I don't think that he's, he's taking, taking shit. <laughs> yeah, no, he ain't taking shit. Yeah, you want to do this, pal? You want to do this, buddy? Come on. Come on. Come on. That's what I thought. <laughs> Huh, there's like a so the queen cool th thing sitting over there, and people on thrones, and what the heck? So, uh, one of the skills I upgraded, which I didn't call out, which I should've, uh, is that I gain health by attacking. Yeah, I think it's important to note that you don't, you don't get to choose skills every level, it's, a uh, Every three. Yeah. Which makes it a little bit easier to maintain, you're not constantly jumping into that menu. Yeah, plus the menu pops up, it's nice yeah. like that. Um, Shit. Ooh. Damn. Almost made it out. <laughs> Fucking it up. I should have chased that hard earlier. Took a lot of damage doing that. Yeah, he did. Choose a talent. Uh, increased range and uh, damage on my napalm. They got it. Oh, jeez. That... Now, that Steve, I know you saw that top uh, temple go down, and now we have this Dragonite to deal with. I want to assure you that it's not at all my fault. Uh, s someone else, uh, said, hey, buddy, I'll take over, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and they fucked it up. All of that happened. So as you watch our civilization crumble, <laughs> don't blame me. God. Does the Dragon Knight just hit people away like that? Uh, he has an ability that does that. That's amazing. Plus side, the Dragon Knight is not focusing on our base. Rather, he'd rather stroll around. Yeah, lots of people don't realize you're supposed to use that to break down structures instead of ven vengefully trying to kill people. Well, he's still taking down some structures. It didn't seem like he pushed one lane. He just like, yeah, he didn't, all over the place. He didn't really do a whole lot. Like, he spent a lot of that in the forest and stuff. Right. I'm here, yay! Well 
Got him. There he goes. What is your E? Uh, that's my siege mode. Okay. Uh, my W is the shotgun blast, knock people away. My R is, of course, that napalm, but it can be a gigantic bullet, uh, bullet bill style that just flies all the way across the map, and then even at a higher level gets the ability to um, loop. What? Yep. It's great. Now then, there was someone right over here. Oh, right, something else. Uh, this has uh, quotes kind of like all of the Blizzard games. When you click on a unit a lot, they'll say funny stuff. Not, I appreciate that. Yes, it's great for killing time. The main reason why I haven't uh, been showing them off here is because I'm distracted, obviously. Yeah, I've actually never done them in round. I have to do the uh, test mode, which... That's another neat thing. You can test a character before buying it, like any character. Just in a mode that's separate and you get the little test map. Yeah, that is really cool. Shit, his dad parks. Yeah, I I was waiting on that cooldown. Oh well, whatevs. I heard something about unleashing the dragon's power. Yep. God, I love being a siege tank. Oh. So, uh, Diablo can Woo! ride a horse. Yes, Diablo can ride a horse. That's something. It's pretty incredible. Oh, shit! Oh, their, their entire team. team! Whoop! Out of the way. Oh, no, they're gonna get you. Oh, I almost made it back to my teammates. <laughs> oh, well, at least my spider mines will slow them down, make them easier for them to finish. I played Sonya, the uh, female barbarian. Yeah. A lot. I'm not good as her, and I can't figure out why. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Though, people watching this quick play are probably thinking you're also not good as the siege tank. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Maybe you're just not good at the game. Well, you know, I'm not saying I'm amazing, but we're pretty fucking great when I'm not fucking it up like I am this round. <laughs> As they continue to take hits from a tower. <laughs> At least Tyrael's really cool looking. Yeah, he is. Have you gotten to play as him? Yeah, I did. Uh, I think he was one of the first characters I got to try. Any uh, any idea? Do you remember what the abilities were? Um, uh, there's one where he throws the sword out and then can teleport to it to do damage. So the throw hurts and then the teleport hurts again. I'm going to the top in order to take that shrine and hopefully we can get the Dragon Knight. But yeah, that, I can't remember his other ones. Light him up! <laughs> Jeez. Cool. Very nice. You know what more things should have? The soundtrack from Xena. Warrior Princess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, uh... I, uh, totally forgot how good that theme was until, uh, my girlfriend started playing Xena on Netflix. Hey, buddy! Jeez. Man, fuck you! I'm fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, his vine really yeah, screwed me the, there. That guy can be pretty cool for, like, <coughs> when he teams up like that. It's really too bad we didn't have our teammates with us. Uh, we're, they were dead, weren't they? It looks like that is the case. That's cool. Is there a timer on the Dragon Knight? The shrines come back up eventually. You can't get them again until the shrines come up, though. So we essentially prevented them from getting it, and we got a good deal of, of their top lane. That's true. 
As I was mentioning a moment ago, it is totally, I feel fucking robbed that that last round went so good. And this is not going so good. <laughs> I mean, it still looks like we're gonna win. Or we can win. Does anyone know what the max level is here? Uh, 20. Pretty sure. No, you're at 23 right now. 20 what? is the max level for uh, talent unlocks. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Steve, do you have any idea what the max level is? Uh, 30, I believe. Oh, wow. I got this. I think something nifty in this is also you, uh, is you play a character, you level up that character, and that unlocks more stuff. Yeah, for him. which we'll be able to show off as soon as we finish this round. Right. Those shrines are gonna activate in 10 seconds. Yep. Oh my god. Well, we can start pushing the core so it won't matter. Right. <laughs> Get out of the. I, oh my god. Uh, yeah, I yeah. hate how much dealing with your allies being there is a problem. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, we've got this. Yeah, that... that nice. That is ridiculous. Can you get it out before it ends? Okay, you did. <laughs> <laughs> the, trust, the, the, tr the true test of a player. Can you say GG before you're over? <laughs> Their stitches was really good. Their Diablo was really bad. Yeah, I love how every encounter Diablo's still the one around, surrounded by four or five of us like, Hey guys, what's up? But uh, yeah, here are the... Uh, this shows the level for the character Sergeant Hammer, and then it tells you what the next... Unlock is gonna be. Jeez, you must have played a lot. The next unlock the freaking skin variant. Yeah, I'm almost level seven. That's you know, crazy. halfway to seven, so that's cool. Uh, and then you got your player level, which, as we were mentioning before, allows you to play as uh, different characters. But uh, let me click this, and then I can go in here. Uh, it'll tell you for all of the characters in the game. It starts with the free ones, I be believe. I like that yeah. it also shows... No, um, actually, it just seems to be based on what my pre-existing level is. Yeah, I think it's just whatever level. But yeah. yeah, so in any case, it'll show you what the next one is. And the cool thing is, every character gives you 500 gold at level 5. Right. So if you want to buy a character, you should level up a bunch of different characters to level 5. And uh, and then you can also do daily quests to get more uh, gold. Yep. But just not doing that stuff, you only get like 10 gold a match. Which yeah. Which is kind of well, crazy. Well, 30, really, if you're playing with a friend oh, in, yeah? in competitive. You get oh. 30 instead of 10. 10's for co-op, and I think that's even co-op by yourself. Um, but here, let me go over here, and you Here's can see... 20 how much for PvP, and an extra 10 to bring it up to 30 if you win PvP. Okay. There it is. That makes more sense. Because I thought that there was only experience bonus when you play with friends. So yeah, you got your gold unlocks and your money unlocks. Uh, where's Tassador? And then if you go to skins and mounts. Oh yeah, the skins are freaking awesome. You know what? Forget this guy. I want to show it off on someone cool. If you like that guy, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's very Metal Slug. Yes, the World War uh, Sergeant Hammer. That's... that's really cool. Huh, you need to get her to level 10 before you get an alternate skin. Mm-hmm. But do you only need level 7 for the, uh... For the tank? Is that right? Because... Yeah, I think... Oh, okay. That's weird. Oh, oh! Skin variant, there's the colors in the upper right. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what you're about to unlock. That makes more sense. Yes, it does. Of course, you still need to use in-game gold to unlock them. That just gives you the privilege of doing that. Of being able to. Um, <laughs> of course. Like some fucked up giant Jason Voorhees. Um, yeah, so... I wish I was good enough as more than one character to play another character. I guess we can uh, do a co-op match real quick. And I can uh, show off 
uh, either Vala or Sonya, if that's cool with you, Steve. Okay, so, uh, is there anything else? Yeah, I should show off the mounts. Yeah, the mounts. The mounts. Go horsey or battle beast. Oh man, the cyber wolf looks really cool. It That's is. That's probably the best. I feel like they should have had that unlocked to begin with just for... So you're not like Jim Rayner riding a horsey. I don't, I don't know. There's there's Diablo. Riding a unicorn. There it is. Unicorn. Rainbow unicorn. And then he gets the dire wolf instead of the mech wolf. Oh wait, no, he, no, gets, he both. gets both. Yeah. Never mind. And then there's uh, characters like uh, uh, this one up here. He has a uh, weird thing for mounts, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, wings. Wings. Only one, too. Yeah. I imagine they'll change that later. Probably. Okay, so I'll be Sonya. Uh, and ready my, up. My that... are... Wait a second. Yeah, that... Sure. Good call, good call. My Raw! My <laughs> that are... animation of the Barbarian's pretty good, but then it plays a really calm phrase underneath right. it. It just doesn't feel like Diablo Barbarian unless you click it, and it goes, shh, shh, raw! <laughs> I love Diablo too. In any case, she does not look like Sonya Blade. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe there's a skin. No. 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 That one's fanciful as fuck. Yeah, that one's crazy. Why is she only unlockable via money and no necessary level? And I, I like the the other ones, Conan the Barbarian style looking. Oh, is that where yeah. you're getting? I, that's what okay. I'm getting from it. Okay, but I thought it was supposed are pretty to be weird. I thought it was just supposed to be super high level barbarian. Maybe, but I. I the blade one is a reference to World of Warcraft. It's the wrath set for war. Oh, that's cool. I like the blade pauldrons, like on her shoulder. How she <laughs> they just look has this incredibly dangerous for the wearer and no one <laughs> <Yes>. else. <laughs> Which that, is good. That lets you know how hardcore she is. Man, no one's playing co-op today. Man, you know what I love, Bob? What's that? I love quick playing online games. It's great, isn't it? There's yeah. all this dead air, and who, I love who, it. Who needs, who needs all those gigs of data? We just fill this fucking three terabyte hard drive with this one quick play. Ah, uh, fuck it. Delicious. And can you mark you know that? What the quick players would really like? Watching well, me the... play Tassadar. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, Bob. They would love watching me play Tassadar. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Oh man, that damn test. That's not Tassadar. No, it's not. That, that, What's God? Zeratul. Zeratul. I, Zeratul. I really want to. I want to try him because that was one of my favorite classes in Starcraft. Uh, what's he? A Templar. Uh, Dark, he, Templar. Dark, Dark Templar. Yeah. yeah, because the Dark Templar can attack. Yeah. Oh, what fucking luck! We get another Dragonite fucking. Yeah. I. Mm. I don't have this problem. Usually. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. I frequently have this problem. Maybe this doesn't happen to me. This is the first time. <laughs> this is going to be good. So be it. They should have her to ride a horse Steve. instead of that stupid looking lizard thing. I don't know. It, it gives no, me. I'm like on a dooback. It gives me a freaking. Dooback. Whatever they were. Yes, it was dooback. You're no Star Wars fan. Get out of here. In any case, it, it reminds me of the He-Man stuff. Like, yeah. it looks like a creature out of He-Man. He does look more like that than a do-back. You know, it's really not fair that they haven't put a Planet of the Apes te live-action television series on the internet. That was a thing? Yeah. I'm sorry. It was terrible. <laughs> That's awful. Because it has to be lower budget than any of the movies. Which were already pretty bad once you got to the later ones. Yeah. So, <laughs> that was a weird noise. Well, I got furious. Apparently. And I noticed that there are actually some characters who don't just have those uh, those four abilities down at the bottom. They also get uh, like extra abilities you can get from talents, and you lose like the number bad instead, like one, two, and three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stone Skin's an example. Who gets that? Uh, a few people, actually. Okay. So it's a later ability, and it gives you a certain percentage... Super Runaway! <laughs> I like that 
that happen. It was her character telling me to go heal in her own way. Right, yeah, each one actually has quotes for saying things. And some of them it seems like it will notice, um, like, they'll refer to a character by name or that sort of thing. Grab the shrine like a bomb. Show them what the dragon looks like. Do it, Dan. Get the shrine. Yeah, Steve! <laughs> We lost the bottom shrine on my way down here. Oh, I think you got it again. Okay, now we have it. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> so you gotta go. Knock down the walls. I thought you'd do more damage. Me too. But that is a lot. I mean, you guys, you're just able to tank this. Nobody can stop you. What? What was that about? Uh, I went to do the punt. Oh, uh, but there wasn't anything. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're just barely on the other side of the wall. They are. Peter's know what to do, man. And there we go. <laughs> the, the Dragon Knight doesn't like dying. That, uh, the, that's pretty great. It's I so, so stupid. So here's how the mount works as a normal person. You push Z, you wait for the bar to fill, and then you got it. Whereas with the sea tank, you just sort of pop it? Yeah, you pop it, and it has a cooldown. Pretty sizable one. Like, I'm already ready to do it again. Use your spinny. No. Oh. It looks so dumb, though. It does. That's true. I noticed that one of the Barbarian's uh, ultimate is Leap, which is great. Oh, oh I mean, that is cool. This is... I, I, have you read the backstory on which ability you should get? No. <laughs> no one's done that, ever. I can pop for more Fury. The reason why I get that ability instead of the others to begin with is Fury in this works exactly like it did in Diablo 3, where you have to hit the enemy a good bit before... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I always go with the uh, the one where hitting enemies heals you, because I always... Well, that, I, I thought that was a later one. That uh, was actually in the very first set. The very first set? Yeah, I saw that Okay, on the Siege Tank, it's in the later ones. But yeah, like, once you get into battle, you're useless unless you get that D, uh, that Fury boost. Yeah, the only skill you can do without Fury is the, uh, the little chain whip. The Q, my ancient spear that pulls me towards them. Which is great. It's now like, hey, I'm up in your face and have no abilities. Right. Steve, back off. Nah, he's got this. Steve knows what he's doing. Does... Did you remember what the heck that bug thing is from? The one you're fighting? Um... No. Okay. I can make some guess. <laughs> it's like Steve went with the giant cannonball. Taking the shrine. So even though I'm Sonya, this round is going a lot more like how it usually goes. Right. Where I'm not just dropping like a scrub. Fighting them AIs definitely helps. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cause man, I'm retarded as Sonya. I mean, <laughs> it, it, yeah, yeah. I'm better as Vala, which says a lot. Yeah, I tend to like the assassin characters more. I noticed that the, some of the sports are actually fun to play though. I, I never play those in other MOBAs, but uh, in this, uh, I enjoyed playing like Tassadar and um, this orc guy. I don't remember his name, but oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's got some sort of werewolf powers or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, you run! That's right, you run, you bitch! Is that your ultimate? Yeah. It reduces cooldown like mad, so I can just keep spamming that move like crazy. Yeah, I remember when I got it, I was like, why would I lose leap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still not sure on that one myself.
as I run circles around Steve. Yep. Just throw more things into reducing fury cost on the seismic slam. <laughs> Need some of those seismic slams. Break it up. Beat him up, guys. <laughs> and Steve just sits back. He sits back and slowly breaks it down. You can't stop me! I'm too beautiful! You sure are in rough shape. Healing fountain's over there. Over there or on the other side of the map. I oh. haven't been able to play as Ooster yet. Oh yeah? Yeah. Have you? I assume not. I don't think so, no. Jeez. Oh yeah, and sometimes I'll drop those regen orbs just from uh, random minions you're fighting. Yeah, which yeah. helps you stay in the battle. Right. I didn't really call for a retreat. It's more like I hit the wrong key. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, if you really think we should... I mean, I recalled. Because I had no fury and jack for health. Well, it looks like I'm gonna go for the top shrine. I have my uh, I end up having to take that talent that lets you press your your passive to yeah. fury and also take the one that lets you spend fury. Free the dragon knight and slaughter Okay, I I've actually never taken the use fury to gain health one. Yeah, that sounds useful. Not bad. I don't know it's if I have a cooldown, but it's a nice great way to dump an excess amount of fury. As as Tarend or whoever. Actually, I don't know who that is. Do you know? Illidan? Is yeah, that it's Illidan? Illidan. Okay. The character who was everyone in the original Dota. <laughs> yes. Hey, are you Naruto? Yeah, I'm Naruto. Yeah, I'm Naruto. <laughs> Naruto, known for his appearances in Dota. Yes. Hey, hey, Dota Illidan. 2 still has freaking Lena Inverse. <laughs> Yes, it does! God damn! Because <laughs> that's legal? <laughs> they are renaming a shitload of characters. Okay. God, man! Doing, doing good. Doing good. Showing off these warrior ability abilities. Hey, this is gonna count towards that uh, that daily quest because you're playing as a warrior class. You're right. Almost got her. Almost. Just pop that and... Start attacking like crazy. Now you're all sparky. Yeah. So when are they putting Goku in? I don't know. They should talk to Sakurai about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, the Hey, knight. buddy. <laughs> yeah, they, they were running with the Dragonite. I was just distraction. Right. Enemy slain. Make way. I hate... Being Sonya, because it's like these towers shoot me, <laughs> and I have to like care. Ow, 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 like that, right? Well <laughs> done. And off, and off I go. Look, man, you clearly. Clearly, put in your film. Oh dear. I hope that was Steve's. It was blue, so... I imagine it was. I find it interesting that you used the Hearthstone to teleport back. Uh, that's from WoW, yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. Because I thought it was just from Hearthstone. Maybe. No! <laughs> no, I, I kind of figured that the Hearthstone was a thing in one of the Blizzard games because they have to trade on their own you know, brand. Right. So, of course, the card game's named on a thing that everyone would know, and Hearthstone's a basic thing in WoW. Um, of course. That's a lot of dudes up top. Balloon doing his going home dance. Yep. You know, like you do. Yeah.
I'm just gonna build up that fury. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this round would definitely be over if, uh... That guy had a ghost horse. He did? Oh, I bet because he goes invisible. Yes. His horse goes invisible too, which is pretty great. So, okay, now I'm gonna go take that shrine again. It's really too bad we couldn't show people more than just the Dragonite level. Right, because there are different ones. <coughs> I think I've seen maybe four, is that right? Maybe I've only seen uh, three. Because I've no, 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 the there pirate. are at least four. Uh, pirate, uh, mines, mines, plants, yeah. Dragonite, um, curse? Curse. Curse, crows, crow yeah. curse. Yeah, so that's five. Okay. Which is a lot more than the League had for the longest time. Yeah. Sometimes you have to tell people. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> yeah, his ability to fly that anywhere on the map is incredible. I, I need to play as him. Direct my fuel. It's a good thing I can tell no one's coming thanks to our minions. Fine, you take it. I don't even care. <laughs> Didn't even want it anyway. <laughs> Baka. Ah. I never played uh, uh, this, the expansion to StarCraft 2. I wonder if you get to play as Kerrigan. Cause I know she's the central part of the game, but I don't know if you actually get the player. Or if you did that your base. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Okay. I like that uh, Nova's in this, and the, most of her lines, for the joke lines she does, are about how she should have her own game. <laughs> yes, that is great. That is really, really great. The quotes in this are hilarious. I'll just keep spinning. You guys do whatever. It's just, I'm good here. How, how do we roll as a barbarian? Now? Yeah. Well, you know, I'd love to show off another level, but this video is getting pretty long. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do a live stream sometime, but in any case, that's Heroes of the Storm. I'm super psyched to get into it whenever Blizzard will allow me to do that for less than $40. Right. Uh, but thanks for watching this Quick Play. Steve, thanks for helping us out. And uh, check out our channel for more Quick Plays and stuff. Later. Gigaboots has been brought to you by the support of our producers, Vincent Poverk and Cywolf via our Patreon. Consider becoming a Gigaboots patron today.